Hey folks, just thought I'd show you this. I'm uh, between Roswell, New Mexico and... Okay folks, that's... Uh, that's Pistachio Groves there. Lots of pistachio trees around here. Both sides of the road have pistachio groves like that everywhere. I just had to take a picture of that for you guys. Pistachio line, that's one big nut. All right, folks, I left some stickers on this sign here. If anybody is uh, coming by here, happens to see them, feel free to take one. This is where it is, right off of Highway 385 at this little attraction. Coming into Roswell, New Mexico from Carlsbad. International Museum of UFOs. Within the museum, we have replicas of the aliens that witnesses described, along with the UFO or flying disc that crashed that night. Right, a little footage of me and the aliens. I kind of fit right in the scoop back here. There we go, I kind of fit right in between these aliens. <laughs> A little display of the UFO crash site in 1947. There's another depiction of the crash site. This is when they had the crash. They were the military was cleaning it up, taking the bodies away in the spacecraft. Just uh, artwork done around the museum. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. the site of the crash. Then we pan over here to the UFO and the alien. Pretty cool. In 1947. That's a reproduction of the alien body and then there where they kept it and then here's the surgical room when they were trying to do surgery on the body of the deceased alien to Close Encounters of the First Kind UFOs and pilots and people who have seen flying saucers other unidentified objects. Then we got crop circles. Close encounters of the second kind. We have different crop circles from around the world. Betty and Barney Hill UFO incidents.
that's all I have for that. Travis Walton, the UFO incident. Artwork in the museum. Different artwork people have drawn based on the UFOs and aliens. Well, folks, that's about all we need.